that coming up here as well. So uh, we'll, we've got four S and four M left here to go, Marty. Yeah, and he says the Lakeland they went out and go eight two three no district. You think Lakeland gets one seed or Barto for Forest Region too? Well, if you beat Barto, I think Lakeland will get the one seed. Well, we'll but, see what uh, happens yeah, here. We'll see. But as you said, we're moving into four S right now. As we'll take a look at Region One. There's another region I know pretty well. Is uh, this contains Buholtz and Buholtz right now unbeaten, and uh, yeah, not really having much trouble so far through this regular season. They would be the one here. Flagler Palm Coast is the eight seed. And then you got Pontevedra. I think Pontevedra is an interesting team because they lost opening week to Bartram Trail by three. They go to Tallahassee and meet Florida High the next week. And uh, they've kind of rolled to the last two weeks. So I think Pontevedra as a five is kind of a dangerous team if they uh, play Leon there. Leon. But by the way, look at that. There's the Leon Lions right there. The four seed. Yes. There, Leon's there five and oh for the first time since I, if somebody has that, I and, don't know. It's, it's got to be going back to the 1980s, people. And, and the reward we get Pontevedra in the first round and maybe Buholt in the second round. So uh, that's your reward, Leon, for that. But then on the bottom. <laughs> so far. So far. That's true. <laughs> then you got Nice Wells to two. Creekside now coming in as a seven after beating Mandarin last week. Creekside is, uh, and we're going to talk to the voice of Creekside football coming up later tonight in our North Florida uh, Blitz. And then Pace, uh, Bartram Trail. That'd be a fun matchup as well. Bartram Trail dropping to no, a you're six absolutely seed. Right. Bartram Trail dropping to a six seed. They have two losses, but those are to Mainland and to St. Augustine, so you can't really fault them there. But, yeah, that, uh, that's basically the Northeast and Panhandle uh, region there in Class 4S Region 1. And 4S Region 2. So, so this is what Charles Bell was just talking about, Barto. Barto sitting there at a one seed right now, and Lakeland's sitting there at five. five. So, wow. So uh, Lakeland's kind of having, a, you know, of course, a little bit of a, you know, it's, it's an early struggle, but we'll see what happens it, it, there. But if they win the district and beat Barto, I have a feeling they're probably going to move up to the one. I don't know if George Jenkins, we, I think we were talking George Jenkins as a two was a little surprising. Uh, they would play Lake Gibson in the first round. I think Springstead as a four is surprising, but. If they win their district, they may be there. East Ridge and Wiregrass Ranch at the bottom. East Ridge is a three. It's a kind of a little bit topsy turvy here. Bartow, Lake Mineola up top. Lake Mineola is only one and three, but they lost last week to uh, to Mainland by three. So they've had a pretty tough slate as well. No, you're not wrong there, and I think that's going to be the interesting thing there. And of course, let's head into uh, region uh, th three and four S here, Marty. Uh, Treasure Coast, who uh, got a uh, thing. I thought they were going to play closer to St. Thomas Aquinas this past week. Uh, no, uh, no, no, no dice there on that one. But Treasure Coast sitting there in that one seed there in region three to start out the playoff rankings. Yeah, some teams are still <laughs> going to beat other teams. St. Thomas Aquinas beating Treasure Coast, but yeah, you see them as the one seed in region three. There's the land who. Only an eight seed. I think they're going to maybe work their way up as the season goes on. Heritage and Vero Beach. Vero Beach is a five. Uh, Vero Beach is a five seed. Uh, coming off, uh, they lost their first game, I believe, last week. University and Spruce Creek, Arn City University. That's a that's a bit of a rivalry game there. And then New Smyrna Beach is having a nice year. They're unbeaten against Martin County. So No, absolutely. Uh, all right. So, and then here, 4S Region 4, Marty, sir. Here we go. Well, the welcome to the Southwest Florida uh, region here with Sarasota <laughs> and Manatee, Bradenton Manatee. That'd be a fun matchup in the first round. Palmetto and Venice, the defending state champ, Venice, or runner-up for me yes. from a year ago. Sarasota Riverview, Lakewood Ranch, and Gulf Coast, and Immokalee. Immokalee maybe the, is the only team in there outside of the uh, – are, are really outside of the Bradenton, Sarasota area. And Gulf Coast, too. So right Coast there, in, uh, Naples, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, right. the, Lee, the Lee County area. Now, interesting enough, right now, the second, you know, the, the, that section right there, the second, I, you know, there's someone's interesting. I, I did, you know, I, and this is probably another area where I, I, I you know, overlapped here in, in terms of looking at it, but I need to look at it real quick. But it's uh, in, in District 15 because the problem is, is all the – the District 15 team. So Lehigh would be the first team actually probably be sitting there at eight seed and not uh, Manatee. So it, it depends on, again, we got to look at it. Some of these districts have not played district games. Riverdale's the only team in that District 15 there in 4S that has won a game and they actually just won it here and thing. But I mean, the, the teams are just uh, struggling there in District 15. But we'll see what happens here over the next uh, couple of few weeks here as uh, district play really kind of gets into action here, Marty. But let, let's roll.